Hey everyone, how are you doing today and welcome back to my channel. Now today we're going to be talking about My Hero Academia chapter 281. Oh my god, some serious, serious stuff happened in this chapter. By the way, if you like anime, games or movies, subscribe to this channel because I talk about that a lot. I give you my opinions with them and I have fun with them. Also, like this video because you're awesome and click the notification bell so you get notified when you're going to see me on your timeline. And uh, let's get on with the review, shall we? This chapter picks up from chapter 280 whereby Shigaraki is talking to Endeavor about his ideals of uh, why he's doing what he's doing. And he back then he was just starting to talk about what his dad believed of the hero society. And in this chapter, you see him progress his dad's thoughts of hero society and turn it into his own. Shigaraki Shigaraki brings up the point that his dad stated that heroes are the kind of people who would leave their families alone and, and yeah that's kind of peak and also Shigaraki now um, brings it back to the fact that people and heroes they're not always the best of people he's saying that heroes are the type of people who would turn a blind eye if they can't help someone or that people are glorifying these heroes like if they can do anything when they really can't and you get a flashback of shigaraki walking on the street and no one coming to save him so it makes sense that he would have these ideals that he has because you know no one saved him apart from all for one the reason why he's trying to take down this society is because well to be fair he said this a lot in the earlier season seasons of my hero as well but he's basically telling people that listen the people who you're calling the so-called heroes that you're thinking are amazing extravagant they're the best things ever they're not and i'm going to prove to you why so that's pretty much what i understand of what shigaraki's motivations are behind tearing down the hero society and it took him a while to get to that point but yeah he finally understands that now endeavors is like all right cool cool monologue let's get to fighting let's throw hands and they continue fighting but at this rate that he's noticed that shigaraki's got a lot faster which is crazy because Shigaraki okay well it's not really crazy we know he's ridiculously strong now so which is crazy to everybody else basically because they're like whoa like Shigaraki you're 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 strong like you're even faster now after I've done all this work on you bruh and the problem with Endeavor is that he's getting tired Gran Torino's noticed that he's getting tired as well and Shigaraki's just picking up the pace at this point Gran Torino tries to help out Endeavor by kicking his signature kicks to Shigaraki's head but unfortunately Unfortunately, Gran Torino forgot who he's dealing with. Yeah, so Shigaraki comes out of nowhere and um, Shigaraki just works Gran Torino. That's all I can say. He works him because he just turns him around, decays him small, and then he just crashes into the ground and decays the living daylights out of him, which is so crazy like this is another person on the body count that horikoshi is writing oh my god gran torino's dead and do you know how i know he's dead he had his flashback where he was talking about um nana shimura's reasoning behind leaving um her son well shigaraki's dad uh out of the hero society and it made sense like it really really makes sense nana shimura does not want her family to be caught by any villains especially how she's a well-known hero so her reasoning is hey protect my family keep them away from hero society let them know nothing about me and anything i do so that they could be protected and not be harmed by villains or used as hostages basically and what was the saddest part is that Gran Torino I feel like his last lines he was saying that oh uh, Sh Shimura did we or something like along those lines and it made me think is he having regret for leaving Shigaraki's dad alone because that is deep back then they were probably thinking it's a really good decision to remove uh, Nana Shimura's family away from any dangers but looking back at it what if Nana Shimura was just strong enough to protect the people she cared about and to not make sure any of those villains could have the opportunity to harm her family that's why like I wouldn't blame Gran Torino for having regret and I think they're like maybe even Nana had some regret when she was dying in all honesty Deku does a real leap I mean yeah it's his master so he, he does a real leap to go and get Shigaraki completely forgot that Shigaraki's OP he said no 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 like this is my master well it's very anime I'm not gonna lie because the sensei always dies and those students are always like ah oh, you killed my sensei and all that so uh yeah it's just now that Deku and Bakugo realize that Shigaraki's a lot faster because he zooms past them to try and kill Aizawa as he's trying to kill Aizawa again Ryukyu stops him in his tracks and um yeah Shigaraki just flings her again this girl she's getting worked on by Shigaraki well everyone's getting worked on but yeah poor Ryukyu so um 
you can try to hold Shigaraki at bay, but it's it's not working. Then Deku comes in Black Whip and he uses the rage that the Black Whip holder originally told him to use in order to make Black Whip more powerful. And he uses that to hold Shigaraki down. So as Deku's holding Shigaraki, Endeavor's coming to try and finish him off with any bit of power he has left and then Shigaraki is just playing around with I think he was playing around with I think it was it his shoe he was getting something out of and he was getting something out of somewhere I couldn't tell that well but he was playing around with something right and he was like oh they didn't know I have this left and I was like what is he talking about he pulls out the quirk erasing bullets and I'm like oh my god and do you know how we know it's quirk erasing bullets because the final powder was Eri's face and I was just like oh my lord man no so yeah, next chapter, Endeavor's losing his quirk. I think Endeavor's definitely losing his quirk. I, I think that's happening. That, that's guaranteed happening. And maybe Todoroki Shoto will just come in in time and be like, oh my God. And he just sees the Endeavor just lose his quirk. He'll be like, Arr! you know what I mean? Oh man, like this next chapter can't come soon enough. I hope we don't have another two week break. I don't think we do. So uh, thank God, because I need my hero to be on every single week because i love it how i think the next chapter is gonna go is yeah endeavor's losing his quirk uh, i think todoroki and them lot are gonna meet up with deku and bakugo um well everybody that's fighting shigaraki uh or here's another thing maybe right maybe deku loses one of his quirks because he has multiple quirks so it's not a bad thing if he loses one like he has another i think five or so it wouldn't be that bad of a thing to lose one quirk because like I said, Deku's ridiculously OP. Yeah, that would be pretty cool, actually. I, but in all honesty, I think Endeavor's losing his quirk. Endeavor's done out here. We're, this is going to be the last fight of Endeavor's because Endeavor is out of breath. He cannot fight Shigaraki like that anymore. He's already going plus ultra. Like, he's gone plus ultra. I don't know what else he could do. He could probably go plus ultra again, you know, go beyond and all that. But man, I think Shigaraki's got him. What do you think is going to happen in the next chapter? Do you think Endeavor's going to lose his quirk? Do you think Deku's going to lose his quirk? Do you think anybody else will lose their quirk? Let me know in the comment section. I am open to discussion. Thank you very much for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more on pop culture. I do my Hero Academia reviews, well, the manga reviews every single week. Uh, well, every single time the chapter comes out pretty much. And also I talk about anime games and movies as well. So check it out as well. Uh, thank you very much again and uh, stay blessed. All right, see ya.